What is going on everyone? This is Ipsec, and this video is just going to be on the way of the console cowboy. No exploitation, it's just going to be how I navigate through my terminal, split the windows, random tips and tricks and bash, and of course, the tmux usage that everyone seems to ask about. So, let's jump in. The biggest benefit to tmux isn't all the magic you can do with uh, terminal splitting and all that stuff. It is the fact that it runs your window in a process and not tied to your session or the background. Essentially, that means if I SSH somewhere, then launch tmux, do things, my, and my SSH connection dies, the process I was doing doesn't die. I just reconnect SSH, I can attach to my session, and I'm back to where I started. Super duper handy if you ever do sysadmin stuff or pen testing and have like pivots and things. I hate when I run commands that's tied to my SSH connection, close down or do something, and all my stuff dies. Biggest hassle. So that, to me, is the best thing about tmux. If all you want to do is the terminal splits and all that stuff, I recommend looking into Terminator because it makes it just a bit easier, has a few more options on that end. But if you want everything with the window backgrounding and things like that, tmux is the way to go. So this is going to be how I start all my Hack the Box videos. If you notice, I'm in Documents, HTTP, Boxes, tmux, vid. So first thing first, we have to create a tmux session. So tmux new dash s and give it a name such as htb. And the reason you want to go in this directory first is when you create a new window, it just puts you back into this directory. So the first thing I always do in a hack the box video is go into my VPN, and then I press Control R to recursively search through my history and start typing Open VPN until it gets me the uh, config I want. Then just hit Enter, and I connect. So then I'm going to hit a thing called the prefix key. By default, it is control B. So hit the prefix key and then C and I create a new window. Down here is a little bar that says all the windows. If I want to switch back to OpenVPN, I just hit the prefix key and zero. Prefix key one to switch to bash. If I had a few, I could hit one, bash, three. You get the point. So my tmux config is relatively simple. I have rebinded the prefix control B to control A. The reason I did that is because I used to always use screen and that's what the prefix key was in screen. Uh, it has a hidden benefit of allowing me to do nested tmux sessions, which I will show you real quick. So let's open a new window. If I SSH into my cracking rig, I can do tmux ls to list the tmux sessions in this SSH connection. I see I have one called minor. So tmux dash uh, attach dash t for target minor. And I attach to this tmux session. I didn't rebind this to control A. So if I do control B C, I create a new tmux window inside that SSH connection. And if I do control A one, I switch on my main terminal. So that is the biggest benefit to changing the bind key. So I'm going to switch back to one, kill this. I'm going to do the prefix key D to detach and exit out of my minor. The next thing, some quality of life. I set the history limit to 10,000. That is the scroll back buffer. The default is 2,000. This I don't think does anything. It's allow rename off. As we see, the rename works. I think maybe it prevents the window from being auto renamed. So let's see. Uh, we'll call this red team because eventually we'll do red team stuff in this pane or window. So close out, Vim. Yeah. So that prevents it from renaming when I set a static name. Because I hated when I was giving Windows names and I'd run something, it just changes the name to Python. That was annoying. Join Windows. This means I can send a window to a pane. So if I went to here and we do echo test, if I hit my prefix key S and I can send this pane to window number one and now I just joined it. So that's handy. Control S, same thing, but I can send this where I'm looking at to a different window. Or I did control S on that window. Control J, if I create this, I can say, hey, give me win, uh, 
paint from two and grab it. Uh, search mode is, I set it to VI. The creative Tmux is obviously a troll because he set it to Emac. VI Master Race, that is by far superior to Emacs. So what that does is allows us to use VI keys when we're in edit mode. So we'll do find slash dev to throw a bunch of stuff to the screen. And then we hit the prefix key left bracket and we enter copy mode or edit mode. You can tell that by up here. We have 384 lines in the scroll back, and we can hit page up, page down to move around. But what the VI keys did is now I can just do question mark IPSEC, and it'll take me to the previous instance of IPSEC from where my cursor is, which is where I entered the command. I can do slash IPSEC, go the other way, down, and then if I wanted to, go to the beginning, hit spacebar. That's going to put me in copy mode. I can just hit page down, go to the very end, copy all this text, hit enter, that saves it to a buffer, and then if I go to a temp file, I do my prefix key, the right bracket, and it paste. Then you have the Tmux logging plugin that I use. And that simply allows me to do like the prefix key, alt shift P and saves everything in this pane to a log file. So if we look at this, we can see that was my Tmux session. Comes in super handy if you just want to log everything in a pen test before you close down, or a CTF. I can't tell you how many times I've ran nmaps from hot points, forgot to save off the nmaps to my server, but since I had logging enabled, I could just go into the log and take out the nmap output and save it that way. Or I forgot to write down a password and the password showed at some point in my terminal and I can just search and grab it. Super duper handy. That is also one of my favorite things about Tmux. Um, that's it for the config file. I guess now we can show the splitting, which is probably what everyone wants. I mainly use this, well I use it all the time, but my favorite use is when I want to run a bunch of tools. So I'm going to hit the prefix key and percent to do a vertical split. Run MSF console. I'm going to hit the prefix key and double quote. Do a horizontal split. And we're going to run Python simple HTTP server. So now we got all the panes in one window. You hit control A and the arrow key and you can move around, you know which pane is active by which one has the green lines around it. But this just makes it easy. If I have an Empire host, I want to send it over to Metasploit, I can see everything at once. And if I'm just working in Empire, I hit my prefix key Z to zoom in, and that puts it full screen. Do that again to zoom out, move it to Metasploit, go in, and that just makes it really, really easy. Just like having them all three on the same pane, because this times when I want to look at all three all the time. If I hit Control A and hold Control and do arrow keys, it resizes. But if I let go of Control after hitting Control A, it changes the pane. Um, try and think what else to show. If I do Control A, then the left squiggly bracket, it's going to move Metasploit to the left. Control A, right squiggly bracket, move it to the right. And you can also do Control A spacebar to change how the layout looks. So just cycling through a few times, we can change how it looks. Um, some terminal tricks. We already did the Control R, but if you want to, you can do Alt period. So Alt period is going to just cycle through your history, like argument by argument. So if I did like ls slash opt and I want to go into opt and I don't want to type all of opt, I do cd then hit alt period and it pulls back the last word I typed. And if I do it a few times, it just cycles through all the words. That comes in handy. The downside for me 
rebinding my tmux to control a is control a by default is go to the beginning of the line so if i hit control a twice it goes to the beginning of the line if i hit control e goes to the end of the line that comes in handy if i hold control and hit an arrow key it goes word by word and there's some characters or delimiters that will do it so like semicolon control a doesn't go past but that makes it a bit easier to navigate instead of just holding an arrow key. Um, let's see, Tmux. Did I miss anything? I don't know if I missed anything. I think this video may be good. Enough for you to digest now and start playing around with the key bindings. Oh, final thing. If you hit control, uh, your prefix key and question mark, it pulls up everything you can do with tmux and one of the funnier ones that doesn't really have too much use is if you hit the prefix and t it puts a timer up so i've only really used this when um i'm waiting for a callback so i sent like an email or something or something takes a minute I can throw that time up and just watch the clock tick but the time is also down here so not really too useful uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video take care and I'll see you around